Cruise, to move or proceed speedily, smoothly, or effortlessly. To cruise, to search for a sexual partner in a public space. Child molesters plan and scheme and spend a great deal of energy figuring out how to get close to people's children. Lansing Police Detective Elizabeth Royst has been dealing exclusively with sex crimes for 12 years. She believes there are organized pedophilia groups operating in Lansing, speedily, smoothly, effortlessly. I think that parents should be thinking about it when they drop their kids off at places like the YMCA, school, church, um, any place where you would leave your child will be an attractive place for child molesters to come also. Take Donovan Hollingsworth, for example. He was convicted of indecent exposure by a sexually delinquent person after masturbating in front of a 13-year-old boy at Lansing's Westside YMCA. During his pre-sentencing investigation, he admitted that day he was cruising the YMCA. No, it wouldn't surprise me at all that uh, somebody who's interested sexually in children would go to a place like the YMCA or to other places where children congregate. It doesn't make those places bad, but parents need to be vigilant about protecting their children and making sure that the organizations where they're leaving their children are also protecting them. While regional task forces are trying to track organized pedophilia, Royst says locally, they can't. We're not tracking it at all. We don't have the resources to track it. We're having trouble keeping up with the cases that are reported. According to the Michigan State Police, last year more than 1,700 children 14 years old or younger reported being raped. But Royst says in reality, those numbers are likely much higher. Children don't tell about sexual abuse. Most children never tell. And we know that from studies that are done of adults who the report being sexually abused as children. Statistics show the bulk of child sexual abuse takes place in the home, generally involving a family member or acquaintance. Child sexual abuse is extraordinarily widespread in our communities. It's happening here in Lansing on a daily basis. But Detective Royst says strangers cruising for children is even scarier. The thought that there are organized pedophilia groups operating in our community is horrifying. Tony Fergale, the president of the YMCA of Lansing, says while he's not happy about what happened at his organization, he says there is a lesson in it for parents. Keep communication open. Let there be a home environment that allows that to happen, like with this family. And then it allows the organization, in this case us, to, to take swift action to intervene and stop it. And Royce agrees, pointing out parents need to be vigilant. The parents need to know what risks there are out there to their children. But as organized pedophilia operates in the shadows, speedily, smoothly, effortlessly, Royst says a parent's best defense is an open dialogue.